Okay guys, so uh, first um, Slayer task in quite a while now. In fact, you know what, this is probably the first thing of the video, so I should probably say, hey guys, it is Cthulhu, believe it or not, and it is day 56 of the vlogs, and uh, and yeah, so uh, I'm back, uh, I'm back to Slayer, I guess, a bit. I mean, it's still not going to be hardcore or anything, but you know what, first task still. Um, and yeah, so 200 Dagonoths to kill, hopefully I get something decent, not that I look too often at the seeds, I mean... Sometimes I've actually let Torstall seeds go without obviously knowing that, and someone else has picked it up and told me. And uh, and yeah, one thing that wasn't you know happening before I was slaying. I mean you know before when I was slaying rather was uh, was there were no like bots in the places that I used to slay. And now all of a sudden I've noticed this guy, and there's someone behind him, under him I think, wearing almost the exact same gear. So I asked this guy of the guild. Um, you know, are these guys bots? And uh, and he said yes, because uh, they always wear the same stuff. And both of these guys, they're standing on the same spot right now, wearing D meds, uh, probably rock shell or something like that, top and uh, and perhaps legs. I can't really tell. I think it's rune legs actually. Um, and yeah, they all they all wear the same stuff, and they're all doing the same stuff. So uh, so that's the first time I've seen combat bots, really. I mean, I can't remember any other situation. I mean, obviously, sometimes they're not obvious, and I mean, they could be wearing garbage, and just because, you know, I assume that they're a noob, so I don't really pay attention much. I don't think of them as bots, but this is the first time that it's been really clear to me that there are combat bots, and they are now in the areas that I am slaying. Hopefully I won't see them anywhere other than this place. But then even to me, I would think to myself, why would a bot be down here? Because don't you need uh, quite a few quests to get down here? You need at least the uh, the Dagonoth quest to be down here. And, uh, and you know, uh, well, I guess there must be lots of quest bots, uh, quest bots as well here and around in RuneScape. But, um, but yeah, I just didn't know that this would be a place that they would... Uh, they would uh, they would be working out. I mean, I guess they must be here for their torso seeds and stuff like that. They're probably looking at the floor, hoping to find some of my torso seeds. I wonder if they work like that. They must do. In fact, surely I'm overworking them right now. If they do check the ground for drops, they're probably thinking to myself, drop there, drop there, drop there, drop there. Uh, so they're probably going haywire right now. Well, I would assume so. I don't know how they work, actually. But, uh, but yeah, so first task, and my first... Uh, my first meeting with uh with a couple of uh of bots. I mean once again I've probably I've probably come across quite a few. It's just it's never been really obvious until today where I've seen two uh bots wearing the exact same gear doing the exact same thing. So uh in fact you know what's not the exact same gear? One's not wearing uh one's not wearing uh one of those obby capes but uh the other one is. But still they're similar anyway, so that's why I noticed it. Um, I'm going to leave it there, but uh, hopefully a couple more of Slayer tasks to go. We'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, so before I go and uh, do my second Slayer task, I'm uh, going to quickly open some uh, reward tokens. So basically, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to temple trekking anymore because I've just uh, I've had enough of it. Or really, you know what? It's not that I've had enough of it. It's not like that I don't like the mini game or I just don't want to play or anything like that. It's just that uh, I'm a bit demoralised now that I know that the ghost familiar really is, you know, just really rubbish and not worth the time. And uh, and I've got like three characters up to level 99, but the other three characters are the harder characters to get up in levels because they're so weak and they uh, and they do very little damage. And at the end of the day, what's the point of spending the time going through all of it when I'm not getting to get anything decent? So uh, I've been advised to get uh to get uh use my red tokens for uh for herbs and my yellow tokens for pure essence. So as you can see, I'm getting my herbs right now. So far, so good. Uh, Torstal and Snapdragon so far. That's why I was told to go for herbs to get Torstal because I get quite a lot of it. So we'll see how it goes, and I'll show you. I'll show you the end result. Quick shout out to Slay with Prey, uh, someone that recognised me as I was opening the tokens. Just thought I'd mention it. And back to opening the reward. Okay, guys. So uh, I've finally done opening all the tokens. It took quite a bit of time because you've got to click on each individual one. So I had eighty to open, and then you have to click on the reward and then accept, etc. Didn't seem like it would take long, but it did. So uh, once again, I used all the uh, the red token getting herbs, as I was advised to in one of the comments on the uh, video where I was actually temple trekking. 
Uh, and then I asked a friend what I should open for the yellow tokens. So uh, that's what I got, Pure Essence, 6k of them for 670k. So uh, now I'm going to show you uh, the herbs as well. So Lanta as well, that was uh, 190k for 32. Not too bad. So uh, we're at a running total of 860k. Uh, so this is Candidine, 45k, so not much there. And then we've got Dwarf's Weed, quite a lot of Dwarf's Weed. But only 217k, that's a real disappointment. Snapdragon, 322k, so that's not bad, but that's still lower than what I expected to be. In fact, you know what, all these prices are far lower than what I expected. Not Lanta, Lanta seems pretty normal. But Dwarf's Weed, I cannot believe it is just so little. And uh, and then finally, I got 37 Torstal. So uh, that's obviously the whole reason I used red tokens for herbs. And I was duly... Um, duly uh forgotten what the word is duly rewarded there we go 1.4 million so that actually doubles the entire total so 2.8 million from all the temple trekking and let's not forget i did get a lot more from temple trekking um i mean most of the items not worth much uh i don't know about talon beast charms or at least the pouches once i've actually made them they could be worth a little bit once I actually make the pouches, but who knows? Um, I'll actually find that out at a later stage. I mean, 102 of them, so that's 102k summoning experience when I use sort of something around like that amount. So I will definitely be uh, making those charms. I mean, it's only what a few seconds to make them, and uh, and then I should make a lot out of it. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, PC snake skin, snake hard rather. Uh, there we go though, 405k. So, uh, so I guess you could say 3.2 million altogether from temple trekking. And you need to remember that, uh, that that isn't the uh, that isn't you know how much you get for doing the entire temple trekking mini game, because I stopped halfway. You can get you know a bit more than that at least. You could probably hit about five mil uh, by the time you finish temple trekking. But anyway, that's everything that I got. And uh, and yeah, okay then. So uh, going back to Slayer then. So, second task now, and uh, here I am at Abyssal Demons. Uh, nothing uh, rare to report, I guess you could say. I mean, I did get a uh, noted drop of 240-something Addy Ore, but that is pretty much it. But I've only killed about 20 to 30. I forgot my uh, my Infernal Urns, unfortunately. That's something that I need to remember. Just a bit of extra experience at no extra cost, really. So I may as well uh, continue getting it. Also making good use of my prayer aura. I've already forgotten what it does exactly. I think it reduces my prayer drain by like 10% and then increases how much prayer uh, points that I get per dose, something like that. I think I'm on 33 now, so what do I get now? 36. So yeah, definitely has an effect. Um, so yeah, uh, second task, Abyssal Demons and uh, and hopefully a couple of whips to come. Um, I've been wondering to myself, what am I going to do with any uh, with any effigies I get? And you know, the probably, you know, the the thing I'm going to do with them is I'm probably going to save them, and then hopefully at a really high, uh, a really high level uh, of dungeoneering, I'll be able to use them because uh, I'm wondering to myself, well, once you go over 100 dungeoneering, surely that has an effect on how much experience you're going to get from an effigy, just like it would do from a level 70 to 99. I mean, why wouldn't it from level 100 to uh, 120? I guess. So uh, I wonder how much experience you actually get at level 119, let's say, per effigy. It must be something pretty uh, pretty decent. I mean, you'd have to assume it's about 100k. Uh, but yeah, definitely well worth saving effigies for the future, perhaps for dungeoning. Well, probably, definitely for dungeoneering. But also then I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe it'd be nice to save them for uh, for a new skill entirely. I mean, I know that I won't be able to use them on a new skill until I'm like level 60 on them, and even then they may be disabled for like the first two weeks. But otherwise, I could think about, you know, the next skill already in saving effigies for the next skill. Whenever and if ever it comes out, um, we're probably thinking, you know, a couple of years ahead there though, so probably best to just think about dungeoneering for now. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I get something from this task, and I'll bring it back if I do. And hopefully I don't get an Ice Strike Worm task before I get... Oh, what's that? There we go. Dragon Dagger. So I guess that's kind of a rare drop. Actually, you know what? I don't think it is that rare anymore. But anyway, Dragon Dagger. And uh, yeah, so I'm thinking to myself, hopefully I don't get Ice Strike Worm task before I get Tizar task. And as soon as I get a Tizar task, I'm going in to kill the Jed. Get my fire cape back because that is the only reason to have a fire cape now, apparently, and that is for an ice strike worm task. I mean, I do have 2k slayer tokens. I'm pretty sure I do anyway. 
uh, but uh, but it's not like uh, it's not like I really want to spend it on that because it's like uh, it's it's probably about a few mil in uh, in runes uh, when you're buying a Slayer Dart, so it's probably best to uh, to spend it on Slayer Dart that four mil or whatever, get it from get Slayer Dart with those two K tokens, rather than wasting it on a on a fire kit that I could probably get within at least an hour. So uh, so yeah, I'll bring it back later on if I get anything decent. There we go, guys. Good start to the uh, good start to the what do you want to call this? Uh, Slayer. I don't even know what to call it. Slayer journey. Slayer period. Is Slayer period. That sounds okay. Slayer period. Simply because you know you never know how long this is going to last until I get bored again. But there you go. Abyssal whip number. Well, I haven't got a clue what number. I'm not even keeping track anymore. I don't take pictures anymore. I just uh, well, it's all in the videos now. So. Uh, so I don't really need to keep pictures and numbers, but uh, but let's. It's sufficient to say it's about the 60th whip I've had, and uh, and yeah. So let's see if I get any more. Okay, guys. So task is over. It actually took quite a long time, longer than I remembered it used to take. But uh, then again, abyssal demons have always been long and boring tasks. But this is what I made. So the dagger you saw, uh, the whip that I showed you, I showed you my addy or as well. This is the um, the pure essence I collected. I also started picking up runes. I know I don't usually do this, but uh, yeah, I just thought I would anyway. There's also some uh, there's some other stuff in my yak as well, but it's probably about 50k's worth, I'd say. So a million in all. I mean, that's actually quite low considering I got a whip. But then again, I'm not used to these new whip prices. I'm used to um, at least being two mil. I mean, you know, usually four mil, but two mil at very least so so this is uh this is hugely different only a mil from my uh from my abyssal demon task with a whip so don't know what constitutes as lucky anymore then again you know i've got to get used to these prices because dark bows staffs are like you know they're not going to be uh hugely different so really i mean you know in terms of making money slayer is kind of dead for me i guess because at the end of the day i'm probably going to be using a lot more uh a lot more um, prayer pots and cannonballs, etc. That's what's in my yak. So a D med, a key hub. So no, not even 50k. I was saying, but you know, just random herbs. Uh, none of them really worth much. Um, but yes, yeah, so a less than 50k. But one mil either way. Also, let me show you how many points I have now. Like I was saying, I mean, I could just spend the points on a cape because I have 3,662. So I could just learn not to use a cape for the uh, ice strike worm task but i don't see what cape i would use and it would just save me from having to go and get a fire cape and uh, and yeah if i spent all those points on something else which would be where is it which would be uh runes for slayer dart then i would be making quite a fair bit of money there for 2k tokens and uh and yeah obviously the money is worth you know just getting fire cape anyway uh, so that's what I'm going to do, uh, but uh, I just got given a de dust devil task, which I'm not going to do. I mean, I don't really like to do single target tasks. Um, Abyssal Demons is just an exception. I mean, I'm not going to always do Abyssal Demons anyway. It is, you know, slightly an exception. But dust devils definitely not, because uh, chance of getting dragon chain, let's face it. It's huge. Spiritual mages. Um, those are for dragon boots. Yep, I guess I'll do those. I was actually getting a bit mixed up between spectrals and this but uh, yeah i'll definitely do spiritual mages for dragon boots but that will happen tomorrow that's the end of this vlog so thanks for watching guys and until next time see you around